Hey, it's me, Javi, and welcome to this week's Sub Saturdays, ladies and gentlemen. Decided to record one spare of the moment uh, because I usually do when I record these Sub Saturdays. It's usually like at the end of the Friday stream, uh, you know, over on Twitch, I usually decide to, hey, let's just hop in front of a camera and touch base because it's like, you know, at the end of the work week and, um, you know, it just feels like a good time to do it. Uh, was originally gonna start this uh, sub Saturdays as sort of like a just another touch base sort of uh, sub Saturdays where I just tell you where everything's at and yada yada yada, which I guess I will do just for like a split second um, for anybody that cares. Uh, Twitch, uh, we're gonna be doing a cooking stream September 21st, which is a Monday. Currently, we've got the whole Twitch stream voting on which cuisine they want to see, and then we're gonna vote on you know whichever one wins, which one, which out of like three to five recipes we want to cook. Um, and then, yeah, we'll be we'll do we'll be doing that September 21st, uh, which is Monday. We'll also be doing a whole month of horror games in October. Uh, horror, dark, scary games. Uh, they just have to be kind of like dark, you know, like Halloween themed. They don't have to be really scary. Something like maybe Little Nightmares or Dark D R Q or some older like Silent Hill and Resident Evil stuff, maybe because uh, I've never played those games. Uh, we're gonna be doing a full month of that. So if you're a horror fan and want to check that out, feel free uh, to pop over into the stream during October. October. As far as YouTube, we're going to be putting the main focus on, uh, you know, Skyrim, uh, obviously, and then maybe some one-off videos every now and then for uh, Wednesdays, which is what I've been doing lately. And that's pretty much it. And I was going to go much more into detail uh, and talk about it in greater and greater detail, but I think I'm going to take a left turn here and just sort of discuss things, thoughts. Uh, so quickly, every time I say quickly, we go on for like 30 minutes. Quickly. So I'm feeling a little lost right now. Um, I have I know this feeling well. Uh, it's probably something most, if not all, content creators go through. Even at the top of the top, I feel like, you know, when you're, you know, mo money, mo problems. I, I genuinely think that's a real thing for this type of job. Uh, and it doesn't have to be specifically re related to money. It just, I think, specifically related to, like, um... You know, the bigger your platform grows, the more sort of stuff you have to deal with. And lately, I'm just in a lost sort of mode. And it doesn't even have to really necessarily be a bad thing, uh, because I've found that me particularly, when I'm in this mode, usually I find motivation easier because it's like, things aren't going super duper over the top well, so how can we make them do that? And then I've noticed the cycle seems to be, I get really motivated, I do all these things, things do go well, because I put in the effort, and then I sort of reestablish myself to that level, and then things kind of wane, and then I find myself here again, where I am now, and then again slowly that starts to build up because I get motivation. And the one thing I'm worried about is like, how long can that last? Because the cycle has gone on for a long time now, and it's like, will I always be able to keep getting this motivation? I don't know man, uh, when it comes down to like what I really want, um, I want stability on Twitch. Twitch has like really great highs, then some lows. I would really love consistency and I think I'm the sole operator to be able to do that. I think I have to just... You know, I think a thing people like about me is that I sh you know, wear everything on my sleeve, but that also affects me negatively. I think maybe I have to suppress some of those things to be able to create a consistent stream where more people can come and just enjoy and not sort of worry about when I'm not having a great day and I easily show it, because I feel like other streamers are much better at that. For YouTube, I think what would make me, uh, you know, much more happier in this job is truly being free to, you know, play whatever I want to play. And, you know, there, there has to be a business element to that. I don't think I could just play Enter the Gungeon, for instance, which I'm really into now because that game came out in 2016. I think I have to play something newer, but maybe something that interests me, you know, something that just came out, so it's a little bit hot, people are interested into it, or people are interested in it, but also I'm interested, and I play it, and that interest comes through, and then, you know, um, we grow from there. And I don't know if that's possible, given how long I've done this job, and where my channel's at, and everything like that. Like that. I don't know if that could be a possibility. I would love for that to be a thing or if my channel is just like Skyrim and that's the only thing that's ever going to be successful on this channel. And if that's the case, again, that's just how it is and there's really nothing I can do about it. But I think, I think those are the two things that for this job personally would make me feel very fulfilled. The challenge comes in that I don't know how to get there. Um, I 
you know, I think what defines me as a content creator is again, really, really high highs where I'm super energetic into whatever I'm doing, able to translate that to the streams or the videos. People pick up on that. People want to, you know, hang out with that and watch that and, and, and be in there for the long haul. But then I will go through sort of low lows where I'm not seeing, you know, my, my efforts translate into, you know, engagement and stuff. And then that kind of bums me out. And then it's really hard for me to get into it. And so I just feel like where a lot of other content creators are sort of here in the middle, I'm like, I can be up here, but I can also be down here. And it's just kind of, you know, like exhausting going through that multiple, multiple, multiple cycles. So I don't know, I guess this is kind of just like a venting video to maybe show some insight into what people in my line of work think because I've talked with other streamers and YouTubers and I feel like, you know, a lot of people go through this sort of thing. Um, we all have different challenges, of course. Mine, again, I think is mainly consistency. I, I you know, have really good stuff, but really mm, stuff. So I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, it, it, I'm trying to learn meditation. This is a complete like left turn, I know. Uh, but I'm trying to learn mindfulness and meditation because I feel like for me personally, I feel like I've got a lot of type A type stuff going on, super high strung and you know, like concerned with growth and trying to succeed, but never feeling like I've done enough sort of stuff, and I feel like um, for that particular archetype of personality, meditation and mindfulness is a great thing that would aid that. And I'm really, 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 really hoping that's the case because I've noticed as I've grown older, um, not being able to do that, not being able to relax on certain things, not be able to sort of get anxious over how streams and or videos are doing and how my job is going and stuff like that, really throws me for a loop. Um, and it adds a lot of stress. And I wanna be clear here and say that I know that there's far worse and more serious stuff going on in the world right now. Uh, and I don't wanna come off at all like, you know, this is this takes precedence, of course not. But I think it's important to voice my stuff, vent a little bit in a healthy way, uh, not be depressive about it because, uh, fun fact about content creation, if you're ever like super depressive about stuff, uh, that is where people stop watching, um, you know. Um, so, you know, in a healthy way, sort of voice the stuff. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, you know, it, man. I went through a really rough time last year mentally, and then getting me out of that was sort of feeling this momentum that I had, which kind of culminated in the Mavericks uh, stream event. And then I remember the feeling of genuinely wanting to help people and make people not feel the way that I did last year it was such the most powerful motivator I've ever experienced in my entire life. And then because I succeeded, ironically, uh, during this year, I sort of normalized and it became back to the same stuff of wanting to succeed even more and is this work and is this not work and you know stuff like that and it doesn't even matter because the most powerful motivator and the most key contributor to my success this year was just wanting to help people so i'm trying to find out how to get back there mentally uh to sort of feel motivation in every aspect of my life really not just work but you know that, that was a really powerful motivator um i don't know I don't know. But anyways, uh, I guess this is just a rambling nonsense video really, but I think certain viewers would enjoy seeing a little glimpse into, you know, not everything is just play video games and smile and have a great time 100% of the time. Uh, there's a lot of stressors and feelings of inferiority and feeling like you're not doing enough or not working as hard as you can and stuff like that. Um, that I think I just need to voice, kind of. I feel like it's, you know, just literally, like, literally venting. So I don't know. Uh, again, we got the cooking stream coming up uh, September 21st on Twitch if you wanna watch that. Also, uh, entire month of October, we're gonna be doing horror games, dark games, uh, scary games, uh, you know, everybody does that, but you know, I'll try to make it fun. And yeah, I would just really, 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 enjoy finding a way to get back to that mentality because it was so healthy and pure and just led to growth on all my platforms and then um, I sort of got obsessed with once again focusing on stuff that doesn't really matter so I don't know that's what's kind of going on right now um, the good thing the silver lining is that again I usually feel a, a fire under my butt a motivation to 
increase you know my, my efforts and stuff when I'm sort of in this sort of slumpy type mode but if you got any thoughts, feel free to let me know. If you got any thoughts on mindfulness, meditation, uh, anything, you know, maybe if you feel some of the things that I've been talking about in your life or in your job, I would love to hear it. Uh, I just, you know, I, f I feel like in the past I've had much more of a personal connection to my videos, and so I would love to, you know, put more of that into my channel, as I've been saying a lot, but then I don't do sub Saturdays because there's so much stuff going on all the time. Anyways, that's where it is. Uh, just wanted to talk about that stuff but i look forward to reading these comments uh if anyone's got any and i will see you all monday for more streams and more skyrim and that's about it thanks for watching and thanks for sticking with me if you have i really appreciate it i know i'm not consistent uh like i said and uh the people I'm so grateful for the people that stick with me because I feel like it's much harder to do on my stuff than it is on a lot of other content creator stuff. So thank you. But yeah, I'll see you then. Bye.